Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you very much for checking out my YouTube channel. My name is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. First of all, I want to say Happy New Year to all of you. This is the fourth day and I'm coming your way again with this appreciation to tell you that I really enjoy you being a subscriber of my YouTube channel. We've been crying and laughing together, you know, for the past year, 2022. We've ended 2023 and I pray to God that everything goes on successfully. Now, to what I'm coming to talk to you about today. As a teacher in Ghana, someone would like to ask so many questions. Echo, how is the teaching system? How is the educational system like here in Ghana? I will tell you it is so beautiful. Yes, because... Our education managers or uh, operators are trying their best to, you know, go away with the old system, you know, with the old content to bring in new ones. But definitely you will know that there will be some hitches somewhere. For example, we changed our syllabus for the past two or three years and we are still waiting for certain books to use. I mean, it is a hitch, but I would say that the educational system is doing pretty well. Now, let's come to today's activity. I want to say a big shout out to Michael Blackson. Yes, Michael Blackson is from my region. Hooray! Yes. And I'll be making a lot of videos. And anytime I make a video, I make sure that I mention my region, central region of Ghana. Yes, central region of Ghana. That is where my brother Michael Blackson uh, hails from. So for the past year or two, I used to watch this uh, thing on YouTube where I saw this uh, bodybuilder called, is it Champ? And he was always playing with this dude called Michael Blacks, but I didn't know that he was a guardian until a few years ago, I realized that he was in Ghana and was being celebrated by a lot of people. I was like, okay, so let me start checking on this brother. So realize that this brother comes from Ghana, central region and Aguna in Sabah to be precise. Yes, so Aguna in Sabah is a community or a district here in the central region of Ghana. They are known for a lot of things, but today we're going to talk about what Michael Blackson has done for his community. Yes, I want you to help me clap. Just put it up as a comment. Just put on the clapping emoji there. Michael Blackson has really done well to elevate education in his community. This is what we've all been praying for. Previously, like I was saying, as a teacher, I would love to see my school get to a certain standard. Yes. And in so doing, we will need resources. We, example, like books, tables and chairs, cupboard, textbooks, writing books, uh, workbooks, and all these things. Sometimes I use my YouTube channel to ask you. Yes, those of you watching, I use my YouTube channel to ask you to help my school. And you do that willingly. You send me books by your courtesy, by the support you've brought in, Yasantua, and then the rest. We were able to build a library for my school. Isn't that beautiful? So this is what some of us are trying our best to do for the educational system in Ghana to get to a certain level. So uh, the news update is that Michael Blackson has built a three-story building, uh, an educational institution for his community, Aguna and Sabah for the kids to go and learn. This is so beautiful. And the other interesting thing is that this brother right now is asking people to come to school for free. You're not paying school fees. I guess your school uniforms will be given to you. I guess your educational materials will be given to you for free. All you have to do, he says, is to pay attention. Just come to school, pay nothing, and pay attention. I think Michael Blackson, he is an actor, a Hollywood actor. He's done few movies. He's really done well. So if you're watching as a diaspora or as an African living out there, I think that this is the time for us to come together and help project. Yes, I know some of us do complain. What is the government doing about this? What like me, in a rural community, I've been teaching for the past 14 years. For the past 14 years. And it has not been a joke trying to help someone whose parent doesn't really see the need for education. It's, it's, it's kind of funny, but it is sad that 
within a whole term, a child will come to school and you ask the child to provide a working book for him to do his exercises. He will say, my parents said they will buy it for me. And from the beginning of the term to the end, this child will never bring a book. So seeing Michael Blankson doing this for his community, Aguna in Sabah, in the central region of Ghana, makes me really proud that there are a lot of brothers and sisters who are ready to also do something similar in their communities. Even if you're not from Africa, let's say you're not from Africa, but we know our roots from Africa, you can still come up, collaborate with people and help. This is what we can do to help Africa. We cannot always depend on the government. The government must do it, but what can we do? I made a trip to Tamale last year, and what I saw with my eye was, was a no-no. We entered a community, and this community has just a school, and the basic level, the grade one, grade two, grade three, they are in this classroom where the kindergarten kids are sitting on the floor, they write on the floor. I asked the mistress, where are their books? Where are their sitting places? Well, we don't have. And the heat. So we always bring them here to, so that they can do their scribbling on the floor. On the floor. Yeah. They don't even have slates. No, 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 we don't have. What about books? No, the, the parents bought some for them, but they don't keep them well and we don't also have anything to, to, keep, to take the books. books. Uh -huh. So, so we'll always give it back to them to send home. So when you come with your books, you send your thing home? Yeah, yeah. In, in this 21st century, <laughs> you have kids sending them to school. That so, so currently, I am standing in KG1. I'm standing in KG1. <laughs> <laughs> this is KG. <laughs> Yeah, let them no, no, come. Let them come so we can have a few of them. Because um, whatever we are doing. So how do you teach them? They sit on the ground and they use their hand and, you know, scribbling. I'm like, damn, this is pretty bad. This is very bad. So we are urging everybody who is watching right now. Africa belongs to all of us. We cannot say our leaders are not working. Our leaders are not putting up the best they can. So we're also going to sit aja and do nothing. I think that there are a lot of teachers around. There are a lot of nurses. There are a lot of professions around that you can collaborate with to at least establish something that will also help grow Africa. So, hey, I want to say a big shout out to Michael. You've done a great job, you know, putting up this project for the people of the central region i'll make sure that i make a quick step to the place and really cover the place and show you what exactly michael has done for the beautiful people of agona and sabah stay tuned that i'll be bringing you more from the central region and peace out happy new year to all of you